Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to hop right into this video. In my most recent tape and install video, a few of you were concerned at how much of my hair was cut. So I'm here to explain because what was cut was by choice and there's an explanation behind it. I'm sad because a lot of what my stylist was saying cannot be played in this video because there was a lot of music playing in the salon and your girl ain't trying to get copywritten, so I'm just gonna relate to you all what she's telling me. So I can tell that you've been getting them, yeah. but I can also tell that they haven't been trimming off everything. The bad thing about that is if you're only getting your trims, let's just say, every three months, and then and you're not getting everything that needs to come off at that time, then the length that's growing ends up being thinner than the rest of your hair. So I'll show you what it looks like. And then see through underneath. So that tells me that you're getting it trimmed, but they're not trimming it all. So as it's growing, all of your length is here, but it's starting to split up. So you see how it goes really thin, and then it starts to split here. So then everything above the comb is really thick, and everything underneath is what needs to go. So technically, we can go through and take that all off. So Chris Brown just started Chris Brown a little too much, but <laughs> what she's basically saying to me is that we can go ahead and cut all of that thinness off if I want. She's not forcing me. <laughs> she also gave me the option to just cut a little bit and that I could come back in eight weeks to get another trim, but I agreed to just get it all cut off because I want full hair. I don't need full hair at the top and then thin ends that are just gonna break off anyways. So I said yes. <laughs> So she started off by cutting off a little bit less than what was shown in the picture that she took of the back of my hair because she said sometimes when you get that first inch off, it can already look way better and you realize, oh, I don't really need to cut that much off. So she started with an inch first, um, but y'all will see that we end up cutting more than an inch because your girl needed it. <laughs> It's crazy because I vowed to myself when I got my hair cut back in November that I was gonna be consistent with my trims. And I have been, but because I wasn't having the accurate amount cut off and I was basically just having my thinness trimmed and taken care of, it kind of hindered me in the long run. So I am thankful to Jamila for using a white, cover up because stylists in my past have used black to look at my hair as well she used white a bright color so we can actually see how three see through my hair was so i appreciate that as well um i didn't realize how crazy damaged i guess my ends weren't damaged but they were damaged if that makes sense but i just i really appreciate her for being so thorough with my hair So here she's explaining to me how much this haircut is going to help and that between the time I was getting this haircut, which was April 1st and June, it's gonna feel like my hair is staying the same length, but I am gonna notice it looking and feeling more full. Um, as long as I'm consistent <laughs> with um, the maintenance of my hair, with the trims um, that me getting those dead ends, those skinny ends, those split ends off, I'm just gonna notice my hair becoming overall more full. I'm steady complaining about how thin my strands are, how I feel like I don't have that much density of hair on my head, but Jamila explained to me that I have medium density hair. My, my strands are very fine, but I do have medium density hair, so once we get all this thinness out of my hair, once my breakage at the top of my hair from braids grows all the way out, I'm going to have basically a new head of hair. <laughs> it's gonna look full, so I look forward to that day. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie, I got nervous when she got to the hair at the front of my head because it feels like, I don't know about y'all, but it feels like the hair at the front of my head takes forever to grow. It grows so slow. So I'm like, no, my progress. <laughs> but no, I just, I feel like as I continue along my hair growth journey, I'm learning my hair. So I feel like I'll be able to get it to grow back, grow back pretty quickly. Now that I'm looking back at the footage, I honestly wish that I would have just gotten everything that needed to come off off during this appointment. Um, but you know what? I am going back. I am going to get the remainder cut off. So it's all good. But like I said, I do wish that I would have just gotten it taken care of all in the same appointment. It's just how I feel. <laughs> Maybe also because I have been on this kick of wanting to cut my hair to basically chin length. So that's where I'm at in life. I want to grow my hair out, but I want to have a shortcut. So I'm in a little dilemma, a little pickle. <laughs> but I, I have decided I am just going to let it grow out. So yeah. If I change my mind and do get a very short cut, y'all will be the first to know. Well, actually, Instagram will be the first to know, <laughs> but I will make sure I let y'all know as well. <laughs> Just these little short pieces. So there's just enough of them to where it's taking away from the 